Good morning, everyone. Brian Hoops with Midwest Market Solutions, Marketing Center, Market News. It is Tuesday. It's March the 3rd. I just uh, finished doing RFD TV interview. Uh, a little bit uh, later, coming up here, 1130 Central Time, I will be doing uh, WHO Big Show Radio out of Des Moines, Iowa. Biggest uh, radio station uh, in the Midwest, most powerful I have a commentator every day, and I will be the commentator today at 11.35 and also 12.50 talking markets. Um, and right now we're seeing mostly some strength here in the grain and livestock markets. The Fed cut interest rates this morning by half a basis point. That spiked the stock market to about a 50% retracement. The market has backed off. Cattle and grains followed the uh, back off of the stock market. We're probably not done going up yet in the grains, livestock, in the stock market. However, I think uh, the stage is set for a little bit broader recovery in the in the stock market, and that will spill over into livestock. We should have higher cash trade this week, as the futures market has gapped higher this morning. It's come back and filled the gap, and uh, grain trade is benefiting from a lack of deliveries in wheat and corn. The uh, deliveries against soybeans, not overly concerning, but enough to limit the advance of this morning, despite some dry weather in parts of Argentina and in Brazil. I mentioned last week you could get a copy of our special newsletter, The Voice from the Tomb, that gives you trading dates for wheat and for corn. And uh, contact me once again. We'll offer that here this week only. If you want to copy, contact me. You can go to our website, MidwestMarketSolutions.com, or give me a call directly, 417-501-5132. We'll be back this afternoon with our Market Insider TV segment. Have a good day, good luck, and good trading.